We have to work hard for the next general elections. And we are doing this for Malaysia, for the country that we love. Because we want a better Malaysia. We want a better system. We want a strong democracy. We want strong institutions. So what do you need to do? Three words. You educate, you understand, and then you act. When I say educate, you must educate yourself about the processes, the electoral processes. When I say you must understand it, you have to understand it. Educate yourself and understand it. You have to understand how it works on the ground. And then you must act. How do you do that? We'll find out when we see how many little slips we have in the box. That's how you act. You become agents. Are you all ready to do that? Yes. You know why? Because every single one of us is going to be a mini observer on that day. We are going to keep our eyes and ears open. Because ultimately, everything comes down to what happens on polling day. Right? We, of course, there are things that go on before, during the campaign period. This is where Comas and then John Pantau comes in. That is pre-election day. But on election day, that everything boils down to what happens on that day. And if there's going to be cheating, that's when it will happen. But it's difficult for it to happen if we are all watching, if we are all keeping our ears and eyes open. We're all educating ourselves as to how the process should be run. And that's how we are going to strengthen the electoral system. If the EC is not going to do it, we'll do it. Right. That's what this is about. Adekah politik koto ni hentikan? No, it's still going on. Adekah raswa ni hentikan? No. It's still going on. <laughs> Institusi awam ada kali yang dikutukkan. Tidak. Access kepada media yang bebas dan adil. Ada kaki yang dilaksanakan. Mm. The only thing they have done is to say they will allow campaign manifesto, pre-recorded campaign manifesto on mainstream media. Is that enough? No. Is that what we're talking about? No. No, they know what they're talking about. If they are genuine about free and fair access to the media, they can do it in five minutes to the phone call. And I tell you something, if they do it, the journalists will thank their editors. The journalists will be the first to say thank you for allowing us to carry out our professional duty professionally. Of course, the most important huh? um, the two things, the Kundi Post, Undi pos, bilangan undi pos telah pun ditambahkan. It has increased undi pos. We calculated the why double, am I right? It's doubled now from 2008 undi pos. Actually, what we wanted them to do was cut it down, kurangkan undi pos. Mengapa? Because with undi pos, senang untuk tipu. You know that, right? People, we have reports where people sell their votes. But instead of lowering the numbers or reducing the numbers, it has doubled. And of course, the most important of all tuntutan yang utama yaitu untuk bersihkan senarai ini. So they can give other little things. But if the senarai ini is not clean, then we will not have clean and fair elections.